Welcome back, fight fans, to another video here on The Fight Game. The sport of boxing has seen some extraordinary characters who transcended the sport in more ways than one, both inside and outside the ring. Global waves of emotion, dazzling displays of skill, determination, and willpower, blistering fast hand speed, destructive power, or perhaps a respectful demeanor that's to inspire many generations to come. All great boxers tend to present one of those aspects. But what if I told you there's one boxer who presents all of those things? I present to you Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Once a young boy who arose from the depths of the Philippines to the absolute pinnacle of boxing. In his early career, Pacquiao had some haters, but he saw them as motivators. In a sport muddled with brash proclamations, Manny Pacquiao was a man of a singular strand belief in his own ability. The common foe has felt the perpetual wrath of his vigor and zest. His reign was not the saga of a boxer, but a rise from rags to riches, and then again to greatness. To topple not only those in front of him, but those who laid far beyond. One by one, Manny Pacquiao overthrew the champion of eight weight divisions as a confident invader in foreign land. Manny Pacquiao is a fighter who's achieved things that lesser men would call impossible. So far, we've made a two-part series overlooking moments where Manny Pacquiao defied his opponent in the ring. You guys showed incredible support for Pacquiao by watching, liking, and commenting on the videos. So in this video, we make part three. Welcome to this video here on The Fight Game, where we break down some times where Manny Pacquiao defied his opponent, and we analyze deeply the mechanics that enabled him to systematically dismantle his opponent in the ring. We look to Manny Pacquiao's fight versus Jorge Julio, a 47-fight veteran at the time from Colombia. It was Pacquiao's third fight in the United States and the second defense of his 122-pound world title. The fight started with Pacquiao establishing his position in the center of the ring. Quickly, Pacquiao lunges in an attempt to land his left hand. He motions with the left hand again, almost getting the feel for it rather than intending to land it. Again, he tries to land the left hand. On his fourth time, he lands the left hand, the cleanest so far, although it didn't seem to have much grip behind it. Again, he lands the left hand. Pacquiao sure was eager to get comfortable landing that left hand. After Pacquiao got the feel for the left hand, he started to let it go with great intention. It was like target practice. He kept landing with pinpoint accuracy. With laser-like precision, Pacquiao became familiar with the way he can land the left hand. All of these left hands are only in the first round, by the way. Let's hear what Coach Freddie Roach had to say. I want you to use the jab a little bit more, okay? Be a little bit wide with your punches, okay? I want you to go behind the double jab. As you heard, Roach instructed Pacquiao to use the jab more. And that's just what Pacquiao did. You heard Julio's corner saying, hit him in the belly. And down goes Julio. Pacquiao scored a knockdown in the first 10 seconds of the round by doing as he was told. Many Pacquiao is a very coachable boxer. Julio got up, but Pacquiao knocked him down another time quickly after. One drop, Julio. Once again, Pacquiao showed just how powerful his left hand is. Julio got up again, and Pacquiao saw victory in sight and continued to pressure Julio. I think Julio's gonna have trouble finishing this round, I really do. A little grabbing and holding might be the thing to do. Pacquiao's just getting ready to swing away again. And Bill Clancy's seen it up. A very impressive second round victory for Manny Pacquiao. He showed skill, power, and coachability. Manny, the destroyer Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao has had his fair share of trash-talking opponents, but in his fight against Adrian Broner, Manny Pacquiao held an inevitable constituent his first fight past the age of 40. Pacquiao has been doubted many times in the build-up to his fights. There tends to be the common reasoning of size. This opponent or that opponent is too big for Manny to handle. But he sure did prove them wrong. As we approach the tail end of Manny Pacquiao's career, we as observers are introduced to a new reasoning, age. Most boxers fade drastically past the age of 40. 
Well, Manny Pacquiao is not most boxers. In his fight against a young Adrian Broner, Pacquiao proved to the world that he doesn't only defy opponents, but age itself. The buildup was fueled by Broner's trash-talking antics, but Pacquiao remained cool as ever. Broner brought words to the table, but it was Pacquiao who brought action to the ring. The fight took place in Las Vegas and attracted fans from all around the world. It was experience versus youth, offense versus defense, Pacquiao versus Broner. But of course the question many were asking was, is Manny Pacquiao still good enough to compete with the young guns of the sport? The fight started with Pacquiao being active with his feet and lead hand. Broner, despite his mishappenings, is quite the crafty boxer when he puts his mind to it. Pacquiao edges looking for an opening and quickly gets Broner to the ropes. Broner did a good job of defending. Pacquiao got Broner to the ropes again, but Broner again showed craftiness by holding. Pacquiao was able to slightly land his right hand in his next attack. And you always wonder, but this Pacquiao then found the opening for his left hand. Despite its lack of back and forth action, the first round had a lot of active fainting and footwork. The fact that Pacquiao was able to outmove Broner at the age of 40 showed that age mattered not to Manny Pacquiao. The fights continued onward from there, with Pacquiao trying to get inside the defense of Broner. Broner is generally quite good at evading the punches, but he's a single shot fighter. That means he rarely throws in combinations, and that would later prove troublesome for Broner against one of the greatest combination punchers in the sport. Broner is always looking for that one perfect punch. You can see here he's looking to land that clean right hand as Pacquiao comes in. Single shot fighters also tend to get overwhelmed by aggression, which can be seen here. In the clinch, Broner pushed his elbow to Pacquiao's throat, which, of course, is against the rules and quite disrespectful. Pacquiao, however, the polar opposite, remained emotionless to the foul. Here, Pacquiao motions Broner ducks, thinking a left hand is coming, but Pacquiao waits for Broner to come back up before throwing it, and consequently lands clean. At age 40, Pacquiao was not who he once was but it looked like he was still better than the youth of today. The middle stages saw Pacquiao land with more authority. Round 7 was Pacquiao's most dominant round in the fight. Pacquiao's speed was too much for Broner, who often gets overwhelmed by high-volume combination punchers. Also, watch here how Pacquiao breaks Broner's high guard defense by dragging his glove down and lands through the opening. Round 8 saw Pacquiao land a sweet right hook after Broner's jab. We don't really see how clean it landed until we see it in slow motion. In round 9, Pacquiao landed a very hard left hand, nearly dropping Broner. Pacquiao avoids Broner's right hand, comes back in with a jab, and then lands the left hand clean to the chin. It's impressive Broner managed to stay standing after a shot like that. Much of the fight included Pacquiao cutting Broner down, looking for a path of attack. But it's difficult to fight a boxer like Adrian Broner, who much prefers to stick and move. However, despite this, Pacquiao still managed to outbox a boxer who wanted to do the outboxing. Manny Pacquiao was unmatched in both speed and intensity. Broner had little interest in trading with Pacquiao, as he avoided a war by all means. Pacquiao came to fight like always. A very comfortable decision win for Pacquiao, a true example of his grandiosity as he defied Adrian Broner's youth and age itself. The epic rivalry between Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez is one that's produced a common respect between two gargantuan boxing fanbases, the fanbase of the Philippines and the fanbase of Mexico. 
History will look very kindly on boxers such as Pacquiao and Marquez, and considering we have a four-fight rivalry between them both, we just had to include this particular fight in this series. The first fight ended in a draw, which was a very entertaining affair with high-volume action. The second fight held massive anticipation, not only from the clash of fan bases, but from the hype surrounding the spectacle of their first meeting. Pacquiao was beginning to solidify himself as someone really special in the sport. A win over Marquez would set that in stone. Pacquiao started the fight moving his head side to side, staying off the straight line and perhaps trying to reveal a movement in which telegraphs Marquez's attack. Neither fighter totally willing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe as they remained active in and out with the feet. Marquez quickly landed a great right hand. Towards the end of the first round, we saw a little more action but in the same seesaw style with the feet. Pacquiao and Marquez are very strong punchers who respect one another's power. They know one punch can knock them down, and so they were very cautious with how much time they spent within each other's range. And such a scenario nearly came to fruition when Marquez landed a massive left hook with five seconds left to go. A very impressive shot by Marquez, who landed while both fighters rotated their position. Pacquiao entered the next round surely cautious, making sure not to get caught by another shot like that, but also to recover still from the previous round. However, he regained his confidence as the round approached the last minute, and very soon, the dynamic would quickly change. Just when you thought Pacquiao might be in trouble, he knocks Marquez down. Marquez got up and both fighters ended the round in a roaring blaze. The next round started with a continuation in pace. These are two very evenly matched warriors. Such amazing skill displayed by both boxers, Marquez began to gain momentum towards round six. Going into the second half of the fight, it seemed particularly even, but remember, Pacquiao did score a knockdown in round three. Pacquiao uses his right hand often to measure up for his powerful left hand. His left hand is truly one of the most dangerous punches in the history of the sport. His style very much revolves around setting up his left hand. It's not only his knockout punch, but his scoring one too. Pacquiao started the championship rounds with a crazy interception with the left hand. That, that one point for Pacquiao rolls under Marquez's left hook, and with the momentum, he lands a left hook to the face of Marquez with an elastic snap. A truly extraordinary display of his boxing ability, Pacquiao attempted to capitalize on what seemed to be a hurt Marquez. The championship rounds put even the greatest of champions to the test. Their heart, skill, pride, and durability is revealed to all spectators right there in the ring. If there's one place in the world you can't hide, it's in the boxing ring. As the final round approached, it looked like Pacquiao was finally going to get a victory. Into the ropes. Marquez. Now here comes the blood, and here comes the crowd on their feet. One more right hand for Marquez. One more combination for Pacquiao. What a great fight. Pacquiao thought he won, but Marquez also thought he won. It was a very close fight, but the knockdown Pacquiao scored secured him a very close decision victory. A simple conclusion came from these violent delights. Just how even a match these great fighters were to one another. A victory for Manny Pacquiao was the product of the violent determination of two passionate warriors. That brings a close to this video, we hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, consider checking out part 1 and 2 to this series by checking out the channel. Also, a massive thank you to all the loyal subscribers who liked and commented on the previous videos. We'll see you in the next video here on The Fight Game.